So our, our program involves a comprehensive response to medical emergencies in the city. And in that program, um, we started about 12 years ago upgrading the first aid training of all of our police officers and firefighters from advanced first aid to the level of emergency medical technician. That allowed us to um, perform some more advanced procedures and administer four medications in the field to um, better help the residents and visitors to our city who are having a medical emergency. Every single public safety officer in our city is trained to that level and is able to respond to emergencies. We respond in our police cars as well as our fire engines. Um, as we look at the medical calls that we go to, one of the things I was charged with was trying to improve the survivability from cardiac arrest that happens in the field. Across the nation, it's very low. So we looked at different ways and strategies that we could employ to um, train and equip our people to get to those calls faster. And we found um, automated external defibrillators in about 1996 had become accessible to the EMT. And so we implemented a program and placed uh, automated external defibrillators in all our fire engines. We continued to look at our survival rate and thought of ways that we could get defibrillators there faster and we went ahead and put them in our police cars and we now have them in all our fire engines and all our police cars. We respond to fire engine to every cardiac arrest as well as uh, two patrol officers because they're out in their patrol cars. So our officers are trained now as EMTs, they have defibrillators, they're able to go help people immediately. We still felt we needed to get there even faster and we learned about public access defibrillation. And so we um, found defibrillators, placed them in um, the majority of our city buildings and trained our city staff um, approximately a thousand people over the years on how to use defibrillators. So our program was really started out trying to improve our own skill set as public safety officers and evolved all the way into a community response by improving our bystander CPR rate, implementing a public access defibrillation program, and ensuring our police officers could get there to assist the firefighters and paramedics quickly. I've met every single one of the people we've saved. I've been able to talk to them and their families, um, and it's a, a tremendous amount of satisfaction to meet them and have them tell me I was able to attend my daughter's wedding, I went to a high school, I've had 10 more Christmases, 10 more birthdays. Um, I've sat with them and, and talked and uh, there's nothing in my career that has impacted me more than the ability to sit there with their family and know that that person's there with them for that birthday, that Christmas, that marriage um, and things like that. It's one of the best things I've ever done.